Remember when you were little and you sat on the floor playing blocks, Lincoln Logs, or Legos? You worked and worked and you built and built. And finally, you stand back and look at it. It's good. Building things isn't our nature. The satisfaction we feel is like a good reward for our labor. When we think of building, we usually think of building something material with our hands and tools. But think about this for a moment. When you build something material, does it stay strong forever? Not usually. Just like those blocks when you were a kid, when you got that last piece in perfect position, and when you stand back and look at it, but then out of nowhere, your little sister comes flying through and knocks it all over before you know what's going on. You see, those blocks are material things. Eventually, they were down, and you had to repair or rebuild. Now, there are things we can build that are non-material. Non-material things tend to last longer, stay stronger. For me, I can build friendships. I can build with my teammates. I can build a good reputation. But most importantly, I can build my faith. And by building my faith, I can build a church. To build anything, you have to decide to rise up and do something. You have to start from somewhere. In the book of Nehemiah, the Jews in Jerusalem were in shambles. The people were shattered and the walls were in pieces. At this time, Nehemiah was serving king of Persia. He asked the king in chapter 2, verse 5, saying, If it pleases you, king, let me return to Judah, to the city of my fathers, and rebuild it. The king agrees, but Nehemiah doesn't stop there. He goes on to ask the king for a letter he can use to pass safely through the lands. He goes even further to ask for another letter he can use to request timber for the build. So, not only has he gotten the king's permission to go, but he's pretty much asking for his credit card. Now he's being bold and planning ahead. But first, he had to rise up. If we want to help build the church, we have to start somewhere like Nam landed. By deciding to rise up, he has already begun to build. Have you ever started to build something only to realize you're going to need help? I've known you heard this before, but it's worth repeating. By working together, we can accomplish great things. For example, if you've ever played sports, think of the best player on your team. Not only is he the best on your team, but he's the best on the other teams too. But when the game's over, your team's still lost. Why? Because the other team worked together. That team will always win. The writer in Ecclesiastes says, two are better than one, because they have good reward for their labor. Nehemiah needed a good team. He needed people to use arrow towels together. Listen to what he says in chapter 2, verse 17. You see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lies in waste, and its gates burn to fire. Come, and let us build the wall of Jerusalem, that we may no longer be a reproach. Did you hear those key words? We and us. He is clear they are in this together. In verse 18, they all replied to him, saying, Let us rise up and build. Now that Nehemiah has a good team, it was really easy after that, right? No, things got hard. Just like in our lives, there are, there are distractions and people who want us to fail. Now that Nehem Nehemiah chapter 4 talks about enemies attacking the Jews. They're trying to keep them from rebuilding. Instead of crumbling under the pressure, they work together. Some would work on the build, and some would stand guard. But what if all of them wanted to build, and no one was standing guard? What if everyone wanted to stand guard, and no one was building? That would have not gotten city to build. But they all had the same goal, so it didn't matter who was doing what. Again, it's amazing what you can accomplish when you don't care who gets the credit. When we mess up and make mistakes, we need each other there saying, Hey man, you're good. You're okay. We got you. God didn't intend for us to be alone. Building our faith was easier with the support from people with the same goal. In 1 Thessalonians 5.11 it says, Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up. Nehemiah could have just stayed in Persia, but he cared for others. He had to rise up, find a good team, and work together. Building our faith, which builds the church, requires the same thing. I've known you've heard of the ripple effect. It's most commonly demonstrated by dropping a rock into the water and watch one ripple go into another ripple, and then it spreads all over. Let's you and I together be ripples. That's our goal to build the church. So let's do it. Let's give God the glory. Let's rise up, work together, and build.